Hi everyone and welcome back. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for the PG Unleashed video, but I can't finish the kit yet because I'm still waiting for the expansion pack to release. But the main body is finished, in fact here's the uh, teaser for it. So hopefully I can get the backpack and the video done soon. But in the meantime I thought I'd work on this Barbatos instead. This is a commission piece, so uh, thanks Craig for keeping me busy. But he wanted the kit to look very similar to what it looks like in the manual. And then plus the metal parts and LEDs and the swords as well. So there's quite a lot of stuff packed into this little kit. So here is my short review and thoughts on the kit. First of all is the Bandai kit, which I thought um, is a pretty good looking build. But it's not the most complicated kit. It also has a lot of pistons, which I like. And the weapons are also pretty cool as well. And then there's the resin kit, which doesn't have a lot in it. So it's actually quite an expensive kit, considering the good flight type is about two and a half times more expensive than this. But that kit has way more stuff in it, and it's actually a conversion kit. As for the Barbatos, it's mostly just a detail up kit. So for the most part, the resin kit only has extra scraping lines. And overall, the fitting was pretty nice. Maybe it is on the loose side, but loose is definitely preferable than being tight. But some of the pore tabs are quite badly placed, uh, which makes it hard to tell where the actual parts begin. You, you'll see some of that later on in the video. And some of the lines are overscribed, and some lines are too shallow. So it definitely needed some work to fix all these. Next up are the Cosmos LEDs, which I was really impressed with. The wires are really sturdy, and they can be easily plugged and unplugged from the hub, which makes installation really simple. The lights are controlled via a remote, and there are different modes of lighting that you can choose. And the display base is a nice touch as well. And finally the metal parts. This is not a must have if you are painting, because you can get sort of the same effect with paint anyway. But it does give some weight to the kit, and the kit feels very solid and hefty. But the one downside is the metal parts fitting are actually quite loose. So they do make the joints slightly flimsy and the kit slightly unstable. What's worse is they cast the plastic parts without cleaning the knobs first, which I don't get why they would leave that out. But yeah, that was my short review for the stuff. And overall it was quite an awesome project. And it was quite interesting to sort of try to match the colours from the manual. But hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video and I'll see you in the next one.
voice ring.